girl, this hair is serving you, uh, Mr. Glass. <laughs> JB, I'm over it, y'all. Y'all let me know. Those of you who are teachers, JB is still, I agree, I know, it's still kindergarten. It's still new to him going to school every day. He is still struggling with going to school. I am still, it is very annoying yeah, to me. It's new. <sighs> I'm still one of the only, uh, one of the few parents who still have to walk JB all the way up there and still stay. Out of a class of about, I don't know, about 120 kindergartners. There's, there's about four or five parents who still do that. Four to five parents running on. Anyway, y'all, um, we- Yeah, I see a lot of the kids buying stuff. I'm like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, girl. So anyway, I mean, I have the time. I'm not in a rush to, you know, do something. But in the mornings, I really like to stay on schedule. So it would be nice to just drop him off and come straight home and get to work. But anyway, it is what it is. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, I had to drop off JB because he's gonna get on my nerves. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, y'all. I look like my mama with this hair, y'all, especially when she was younger. <laughs> I, I also spoke to the body. Y'all, the body is another mom. And um, she has invited me to work out with her. And at first, I'm like, I'm not working out with your ass. As fine as you are, and me looking slop, uh, sloppy but lovely, y'all. I am sloppy, sloppy. I beat my face, and I'm cute, and my hair is cute. But I think my body is sloppy. I need to get it together. Okay, I've lost weight, but you know how you can lose weight and still be sloppy, meaning that you're not toned. And this girl, when I tell you she is serving waist, arm, ass, boobs. I shouldn't say that, but boobs she is serving everything so i asked i'm like what 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 is your waist measuring she's like oh it's 26 inches 26 inches and you got you popped out three babies in eight years so yeah she invited me to do a tone up um class and she said it's on tuesdays at 8 45 i said okay girl I, i'm there like seriously no i said i'm there i'm there to do some toning with you she said yeah because bikini season is coming up i'm like well I have never been able to wear a bikini. I have my fat bikini and I have my one piece. Cause she's like, she's like, yeah, um, you know, bikini season is coming up and I have to be ready or I'm gonna be in a one piece. I'm like, are we talking about chicken or are we talking? <laughs> I've been in a one piece for 38 years now. We two pieces? No, we ain't. We don't do two pieces around here. Now I do have my little two piece. They call them fat bikinis or whatever, and I think I look good in my fat bikini, but. We're not gonna be wearing no bikini with the cut cut. Yeah, my rolls will go over that. My my one roll will go over that high cut, and you won't even see that shit. I shouldn't curse y'all. You won't be able to see it basically. But we're gonna do it. I'm gonna go to uh go with her next week. She invited me today to a muscle class. I said, girl, I gotta go do my hair. And she said, oh yeah, that's a priority. You need to do that. I said, yes. Hi, yeah, you are my new friend. <laughs> so I went to the grocery store today and found the strawberries. They were four for five dollars. I of course bought two because I'm trying to be healthy, right? Right? Took a bite out of one and they are bitter as hell. I mean, just I was so upset. Yeah, they're not even sweet, not good. So what I decided to do is to make a strawberry crumble. I went to Pinterest, found a recipe. <clears throat> not doing it by what they have. First of all, I'm using a smaller pan. That recipe calls for a whole stick of butter. I'm not using a stick of butter. I use two tablespoons of the butter. I'm talking, hold on. Can I have more cereal? You can, hold on, sweetheart. The recipe also calls for three cups of strawberries. I use one and a half cups. Um, like I said, a stick of butter, I'm only using two tablespoons. It calls for one cup of sugar. Are you serious? No, I'm not using one cup of sugar. Um, and that's in between the strawberries and the, the crumble on top. I use three tablespoons of agar syrup and two tablespoons of brown sugar. Oh, that I is it. Syrup. Yes, agar syrup. Agar syrup, agar syrup, agar syrup. Sorry, JB, baby. I use half a cup of rolled oh. quick oats, half agar. one fourth cup of flour. I probably should have did some a little bit of salt, but I don't, I don't want any salt. Cinnamon, nutmeg, and like I said, two tablespoons of butter going in at 375 until done, 45 minutes. This is for my ground chicken lettuce wraps. Garlic noodles, uh-oh. I'm gonna ignore JB, and I'm gonna put this strawberry, 
this strawberry crisp back oh, up underneath the oven to let this crisp up a little bit more. Yeah. So I am out of the nail shop. I got my nails did, girl. Cotton candy. Um, Tina is, has been out of the country. Her and her mama went back to Vietnam. Vietnam, and uh, they have someone here though who's really good at nails. However, hold on, y'all. Let me let me situate this. I'm very particular about my nails because uh, I've been getting my nails done since I was. 13 and I don't like the way she shaped them Then I told her I said could you cut them down a little bit. She's like, oh no, honey I I said would it be too much work? She's like, yeah, I'll have to start all over. I'm like, well shit if that's what you got to do That's what you got. I didn't say that. I was like, okay, well, that's fine But when I come back up here next time you gonna have to cut them down. They're very Well, not very long and honestly, I've had my nails longer than this. Let me wrap it up you guys I need to go ahead and go to the credit union and um, put some money in my savings account. Um, oh my, come my stomach kind of hurts. What? What's that noise? What was that? Y'all, this dang on iPhone, y'all. That's my that's my video. My husband is so damn petty. I just got. I mean, I know some certain things are out of your control. I just got an email from his teacher that she's leaving the school due to her husband's job. Her last day is next week. Oh God, I wish I had the patience to homeschool. I wish I had the patience to homeschool. They've all gotten to know know this teacher as their first teacher and now, you know, it's this is just frustrating to me. And they, they can adjust, that's not what I'm saying. But um, JB already doesn't like going to school and I haven't even told y'all this because I don't know what to say about it. JB cries every morning about having to go to school. Maybe this will be a blessing in disguise, I don't know, but <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that kindergarten has been a hard adjustment. All right, guys, so I've calmed down after talking to you. Baby, you're too loud. You're too loud. <laughs> I've calmed down after speaking to several parents, and they they kind of said the same thing. They said um, this may be a blessing in disguise. Wait a minute, where did you get these from? <laughs> yeah, I'm catching up on love after La love after lockup. This is about to be my my show. Love after lockup. Hot damn mess. Anyway, two of the parents said that this may be a blessing in disguise. <laughs> One of them used to be a school teacher. Anyway, um, Charlie's mom was like, "You should just that you should just stay home and homeschool our kids." Yeah. <laughs> Jay was like, "That's a good idea." I said, "No, I don't have the patience." No, mm -hmm. I want to. I want to. Good morning, you guys. Let me turn on some lights so you can see me. It's early. It's five. Oh, this is okay. Yes, my coffee is going on. First of all. Last night, I found out that the actor who played Richard Bouquet passed away at 82 years old. I believe he passed away in his home in London. Um, his name was Clive Swift. Y'all, one thing about, uh, one of the reasons why I really do like British actors is that a lot of them start off in the theater. Hold on. Sorry, my coffee's brewing. A lot of them start off in the theater. They start off on stage. Um, Americans actors typically don't do that. And honestly, I think that nowadays, let me back up, in the 50s and 60s, yes, it was more common. But nowadays, that's not the case. But when you have a lot of English um, stars who start off on the theater, and I think that that helps um, their craft. So he passed away, I guess, a few days ago. Um, I found saw it on Facebook. Those of you who don't know, I'm a huge keep it up with appearances, and he played the husband, Richard Bouquet. And so, 82 is a long life. Um, Patricia is still alive. That's high and since she is 89. And I had no idea that the actress that played Elizabeth is only a few years younger than Patricia. I always thought that she was so much younger than her, like by 15, 10, 15 years. But anyway, um, that's really sad. So today is Saturday. I got my coffee brewing, I got my coffee going on. Y'all, my morning routines, I really, I take my hour in the morning and I really horn in. Maybe I'll do an updated video on my morning routine. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. 
I started adding, um, yeah, I get paranoid in the morning. Did y'all hear that? I thought I heard something. Um, I started adding things to my morning routines. Excuse me, I started adding, not things, one more additional thing, actually two more additional things. I, let me get, I listen to some music from one of my apps, um, meditation apps, and I've been reading a poem or two from this book I got from uh, Barnes and Nobles. Let me go get it. In addition to reading scriptures from the Bible, and right now I'm on several Bible plans, but since my mind is so scatterbrained, I'm trying to stick to one Bible plan and go it through. And when I mean Bible plan, you guys, we really need to start using the word as the word as instructional for our life. So for, for a while there, I would be like, okay, I'm going to read the book of Matthews. Okay, but do you really need the book of Matthews right now? You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to read Corinthians, girl. Corinthians too. Okay, but whatever you're going on in, in your life, do you really need to read the book of Corinthians? Or are you just reading because you, you that's your favorite book? And honestly, it is. Um, instead... I'm using it as as it was intended to be used, at least the Bible, at least. So whatever I'm going on, whatever's going on in my life, I pick a Bible plan. So parenting, um, finding purpose in the workplace. So I'll pick a Bible plan in one of my apps. There's tons of Bible apps. And it's a quick plan, like four days, you have your devotional and you have your scripture. So that's what I'm doing right now, instead of just reading random Bible verses, okay? But one book that I picked up at Barnes & Noble on clearance, poems that would change your life. There's inspirational poems in here, poems on comforting reads, so yeah. So anyway, you guys, let me tell y'all what we have going on. I'm taking y'all with me today. We are going to Fashion Square Mall. Now, Fashion Square Mall is a high-end mall here. They have a Gucci store. They have a Tiffany's. They have a Louis Vuitton store. Um, the last time I went to this mall was a year and a half ago. And I try to stay out of that area because they have cameras. That's me. Going to Fashion Square. And then after that, we are going to Lola's Chicken and Waffles. I don't know about you, but when I go to a restaurant, new or not new, my hand studies the menu so I can figure out what I'm going to eat. Oh, this coffee is so good. Uh, you know, let me go ahead. Like, seriously, I need to go ahead and get some panic medication. I don't know about you, but when my house is in disarray, it does something to my anxiety. So, again, we're going to be having the entire house painted in the inside. This house is in the inside, it's 1900 square feet in the inside. So a good size, not really, really big. But our ceilings are vaulted. Um, so I went to um, the, home, the Home Depot here and purchased some samples. Let me show you guys. Swatches. The bottom will be, y'all really can't see that. So this is what I picked. See that? The bottom would be the um, bedrooms and then the middle would be everywhere else. I have not had one weekend to where I'm just sitting at home. So today, this morning, my child decided to show his ass. Tried to do some working out. He got Play-Doh everywhere. All over the floor. I told him not to get it everywhere. I can get past that. Come into my bathroom and get ready. He throws a Frisbee in the bathroom. I tell him we're not going anywhere. He throws, at this point, it's been about five minutes. Doesn't seem like a long time, but when your child is screaming at the top. Jamie is six years damn old. Six years old. He is throwing a five... It's been about five minutes. He's been screaming and crying. All because I said we're not going to the mall. So we're definitely not going anywhere. Definitely not. So now he's like, well, maybe we can go somewhere tomorrow. <laughs> Who? Who's taking you? I'm not. I'm missing Martin. Martin show is on. And it's the episode where Gina had lost the tickets and she had to go work in Shanene's shop and Shanene was doing Myra's feet. I love that episode, but now I'm missing it. Are you done? Are you done crying? 
Cause I I'm, I lock my stuff in here for your sake. Yeah, yes. I spank my child. Leave your comments below. I don't care, girl. This is my child. But I put my stuff in here before I really get a hold of him. Cause he threw, I mean, a rolling on the ground. I got the Holy Ghost jumping up and down. He ran all the way all throughout the house, jumping. Ran. He did a WWE run up against the strings, fall back onto the couch, bounced off the couch, rolled up on it. I'm not even exaggerating. If I was the type to film my child doing that, I. Y'all would have been like, what in the actual hell, girl? Bounced off the couch, fell on the ground, hit his head on the table, on the on the coffee table, started crying, up underneath the coffee table, crying. Whew. And this is the thing, like JB has been doing is he's been throwing stuff around the house. He'll just throw stuff. And I don't mean like stuff like a sock. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you, you, I accept your apology, but now this is the consequences. Mm -mm, we're not watching the Coraline. Mm -mm. No, cause my my um my what's the name is low. Where is my phone actually? My my data. I need to turn it off. I'm running out of data, baby. I got four more days and it resets. See, I have to turn it off or it's gonna overcharge me. I don't have any data, so I can't play it. So it is now 15 minutes after the incident. No, about 20, uh, no, it's about not 20, 25 minutes. We are on our way to Staples. We, we at this point, I should have been, my face should have been beat and we should have been on our way to the M-A-L-L. But since that has been canceled and Lolo's chicken and waffle has been canceled, we are on our way to, girl, let me calm down. We are on our way to Staples because I'm gonna print out some more stickers. <laughs> we are on our way to Staples and then we gotta go to Petco to get a filter for Bendy. And then I did tell JB I would pick him up some pancakes from McDonald's because he apologized, profusely apologized, and said he did not mean to throw that frisbee at me. But I still believe in consequences, so we will not be going to the mall. But we will be going to McDonald's to get you some pancakes. Okay? All right. Yeah, I always talk about the Goodwill because I love to go to the... I haven't been in a Goodwill in a while. But what is this? What is this? Like, this is clearly one of the three wise men. I'm glad he's chocolate. What is this supposed to be? So you guys, I am at Staples. I'm gonna show you how you can print out printers for literally nothing. So, you need sticker paper, which I got from Walmart for eight bucks. Um, I got 15 sheets. And then you just put a USB card with your PDF file, put it in here. You do print, customize, because you want to do it on the tray down here at the bottom. You got someone at your local safe to help you, but let me show you the stickers I printed this go around. I still have stickers from last time, but let me just show you. Now these are free. These are actual free ones. And all I do is use my, um, I have two different type of cutters, uh, craft cutting tools I could use for these. Isn't this cute? This is for spring. Very adorable. Then we have Tinkerbell, fairies. I just found random butterflies. Summer. Paris, spring. Some Christian stickers. And then these are the ones I created, more productive stickers. I've done this now about four times. Um, typically these type of stickers can cost you around 12 to 13 bucks and I have leftover sticker paper for another set. Ready to go to McDonald's with Boo? I have a unique taste in men. Some of my crushes, Method Man, Moss Def, or, or y'all saying that he's Muslim now. You have to take it off underneath, underneath there. There you go. Um, I like Rick Bailey's. <laughs> he's a celebrity chef that specializes in tacos. I know, y'all. He's old enough, old enough to be my daddy. I loved Anthony oh. Bourdain. Those are my, so some of my crushes. But Moss Dev, Moss Dev, and Alicia's. Alicia stole steal your man keys. Oh, he was so fine. Can and I have a lollipop? So fine. 
in that video. In there. So this is the thing. No, we don't have any more in there. So I threw all this stuff away. This is the thing. It is Girl Scout cookie season. And you know, these little heifers are not gonna trick me to buy those satanic treats because they are so good. What's your favorite? I don't, I have, I like them all. I like all of them. You know what I like to do? This is how gritty I am. I like the shortbread. Oh, yo, yo, boo boo. I like to take the shortbread and put it in some ice cream. And then, um, it's in the I would have to say, this is the first time ever in my life where I'm ready for Monday. I'm ready for Monday. I I'm ready to go to work into an office. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Let me show you what I got from the Goodwill. I purchased this really cute zebra print. This is wood, isn't this cute? And I'm putting it right here. We ain't gonna talk about that right now. We're gonna get to that in a minute, baby, okay? I'm gonna show them everything. Um, When I went to Michael's, I did get some more stickers. Y'all don't need to see all that. Let me show you the shoes I got for five bucks. I also got a mini loaf pan to make mini muffins. Aren't these cute? If I can get them down. These are really cute. Aren't these cute? Five, what the hell was that? Oh, it's okay. Five ninety nine. JB, I'm gonna get to you in a minute, okay? Oh god, Gerald. Five ninety nine. Aren't those cute and sexy? So my husband and I we're gonna have a date night next weekend because I'm over it. We're gonna have to have a date night. We haven't had a date night. It'll be the first date night of the year. Go ahead and go in front of me, baby. Go ahead. Ciao. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, go in there. So JB has been getting on my nerves ever since we got home. I mean, he's he's a you know six year old getting into stuff. And, and one of my cars like broke a long time ago. No, that was like a. The wheels broke off. Was it the wheel? Or was it a Lego piece? It was a wheel. So the wheel was something sharp. Was at the end. <sighs> so JB. When I tell you, first of all, let me let me, let me show you this, baby. I'm not meaning to, to cut you off. This is just an example of the mess. So JB keeps this back area behind this couch, which I just cleaned up, completely messy. He has stepped on some part and it's stuck in his foot. And I'm like, you know what? And I could tell it's just it didn't go all the way in, so there wasn't going to be any blood. But since he sees something stuck in his foot. He's going crazy, so I plucked it out. It's fine, it didn't bleed. You know, I'll watch it, you know, and see if he needs a tet. I'm like, oh Lord, we gotta go to the ER. He needs a tetanitis shot. Girl, no, it didn't even, it didn't even break through the skin, basically, uh, or the second layer of the skin. But since he wanted to be over dramatic, I was dramatic with his bandage. I wrapped it in gauze three or four times, put some type of cream on it, and now he's gonna sit down, look at his phone, and take a nap. Because I, I, I'm done, I'm over today. And this is how I walk now. That's how he walked from stepping on a Lego. Stepping on a on a car on a car wheel at the end was was sharp. So I, it went in my foot. It went in your foot. I should show y'all my sticker since I'm relaxing now. Um I I've been shopping, y'all. First of all, I went on Amazon to shop. Um, let me see what I got. Go over there. Go get my game. <laughs> go get your game. For what? So I now have three of the Happy Planner. Yes. And I have not paid full price for any of this stuff. Look, what I, what I understand, don't do that, baby. From what I understand, Hobby Lobby is no longer, if you're into stickers, Hobby Lobby is no longer going to be carrying Happy Planner planner items in Texas. They're saying that the stuff is 75% off. I like this. Isn't this, this cute? Yeah. yeah, so let me show you guys. Stop it, baby. You tan to your foot now. So this is the mini. I haven't used much from here. But again, I got this on, look, I said mini. mini. Um, yeah, I got this for 50% off a while back. Girl, like two weeks ago. <laughs> I love this one. The squad goes and it goes. Let me see all my syllables and vowels, girl. I like it because it's by season. So they have winter. Isn't this cute? Um, fall, spring, summer. Again, squad goals. Okay. And then this is the one I purchased. 
Actually, these three I purchased today. Hold on, baby. I'm, I'm showing them this, okay? Then you can you can tell them something, okay? We have the show color. I will. I'll show them your game. We have the color story, such a good day. Um, this contains, um, is that in Spanish or French? I don't know. Um, so this is what this looks like. Really cute. And this was on... I got it. Uh, I had a 60% off coupon and then a 20% coupon. Let me, let me tell you something. This was originally $20. I would never, even if I had the money, I would never pay $20 for this. <laughs> JB, I would never. You think you think I'm gonna pay $20 for this? You can have one sticker out of there if you want. I did purchase these from Michaels two weeks ago. Again, everything's everything was on. This is just a set of about five sheets, and I don't know where the rest are at. They're behind here, I believe. I try to group things a certain way. You have your productive stickers and then your decorative stickers. Um, quote, quotes. Hold on, y'all, I need both hands. Hold on, y'all. Isn't this cute? Very spring. And I, you know, most people mix their stickers. And All right. we also got this from the Goodwill. Yes, we got JB a uh, uh, Ninja Turtle what do you call this Ninja power turtle. ball? Um, we have to get another battery for it, okay? So it'll actually work, but he's playing with it now. These are from the Dollar Tree. Whoa! These are new that I got from the Dollar Tree. These are um, two sheets each. And this and and this thing was actually so three dollars for all of these. And guys, this was actually from the antique aisle, I think. Oh, Goodwill? Yeah. I, I, I think this, this was from the I shouldn't laugh. Now we're running into the stuff I have printed out myself. Um, print it out. Print it out. Print it out. Print it out. Cute. Um, these are someone that I got from Etsy. I am not a fan of buying stickers on Etsy because I figure... So, okay, so for example, like these stickers cost me $4.00. I just printed out seven pages of stickers for four dollars. I spent two four dollars on two sheets of these small. I say, no, I'm not happy. No, these are some more that I purchased. Um, yeah, Whoa. so the Etsy shops, are Etsy shop stickers are cute, but it's not worth it in my opinion, unless you want to just support someone. Fitness stickers, school stickers. Um, these are some faith based. Stickers. I've been looking into Bible journaling, but I don't like, I don't know. I'm not sure if I like that. What I want to do is just to get a, baby, it's a little loud, okay? What I want to do is to get just a, like, a um, blank book and just start journaling my prayers. I, I think I'm going to start doing that. Or even just do it in the one I have now. Um, Texas stickers. These are ones that I printed out a while back. Makeup Whoa. stickers. Now these are too big, but I can still use Whoa. certain ones. Um, melon and popping Whoa. stickers. So you see how that's a big difference. See how big these are, and then I went back and made them smaller. And I've already started using some of these. My Harry Potter. I'm, I'm saving this for the um, fall. Mm -hmm. More faith based and Chanel. Yeah, so let me go ahead and put these back. So yeah, I know this is becoming, I know people who have complete offices full of this stuff. I can see, I've only started, I've only been doing this for four months and it's gotten out of control. Hey you guys, so JB is sleep, child. He's had a rough day, y'all. All the crying from us not going to the mall, even though we went a lot of places. Um, you know, just get out the house. And so he's out of it. Then stepping on that thing on door. It's not funny. So he's been napping now for about 40 minutes. I took that time to clean up. While he sleep, I mopped the floor in the kitchen and put up the laundry and stuff. Um, looking at Dexter, y'all. Binge watching Dexter. I had started real quick because I know one of my goals was to start reading and... I had started on the Stephen King book called Revival. I'm halfway through it, and y'all, this is scaring me. Like, it's one of those books to where this, this is giving me old school 
sorry the lights come up it got bright out of a sudden the sun this is giving me old school stephen king this is psychological what is it kind of reminding me of not thinner not not it's giving me carry the shining more so the shining um the tummy knockers yeah remember that those of you who are stephen king fans so you don't know it's i'm halfway through it some creepy stuff has happened but not in your face stephen king creepy i just feel i have a feeling like the like the last half of it because i kind of i want those type of readers that i kind of creep around and it's doing some i'm not going to give any spoilers just in case those of you who may be interested in reading it but yeah i'm afraid to finish it that's how that's how creeped out i'm getting but i'm gonna continue it but anyway i'm gonna read some of that while he's still asleep and fix me some bean and corn tacos um i'm gonna end this vlog right here you guys because it's been a it's been a a bit much for my baby look at him child he is knocked down go, 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 go. i'm gonna go in and give him some sugar a kiss i'm so country give him give him a kiss i i need to watch it because I, I have a lot of different people from different um areas of the world watching me and i use a lot of um i know i use a lot of terms that you know words that people may not be familiar with um oh see they all need to read the book of timothy they just cursing for no reason Oh my goodness. But I will say on Dexter, not everyone curses. Those of you who watch it, the sister curses a lot. But it's not a lot of cursing like they do um, nowadays on these shows. Like, I'm going to do a, um, a story time. Not story. I'm going to do a chit chat video. I am ready for Klaus to come back. Klaus doesn't do a lot of cursing because it's not. I'm ready for Klaus to come back. I don't think I'm going to be able to watch Power, you guys. That's a lie. I may watch it. It was just too much. It's just. <laughs> Can we, can, is there a way, like, is there a way that they can, like, have it to where that you bleep out the words? Like, I'm a cursor. Y'all hear me curse. But I don't want to hear it. I don't. I know. I'm one of those type of people. I don't want to hear it. Um, But I'm waiting for my claws to come back. Even though the sex scene. Yeah. I'm waiting for claws to come back. I'm waiting for my stranger things to come back. I'm coming, coming, going. It's been, it was raining off and on today. Oh, girl, real quick. Oh, real quick oh baby those of you i know by now it should be warmed up but in the u.s look you cannot tell me there's no such thing as global global warming because the weather has been ridiculous my manager told me i think she's she was in detroit she's in detroit she told me that it was 12 degrees but with the wind chill it feels like negative six y'all calculate that whatever you had calculate that and, and, and do the you know the the calculation 12 degrees but it feels like negative six negative eight yes we have had some type of winter vortex that has most of the country is now like i said it's warmed up and by the time i load up this video it would have warmed up but um nearly a dozen people have died and mostly homeless people so sad so sad here in phoenix it's been 35 40 not even at like 40s in the morning and then a warm up to 60s so we've been okay so anyway you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up i will see y'all next week and hopefully um yeah that'll be it all right you guys take care